Hey everybody, Scott here. Hey man, I tell you, it's been a long time since, uh, like, like two months I think, since we've got to get up here and do a ride. Uh, the weather's just been crazy over here, snowing big time in the mountains. So today I'm in Durkee, Oregon. Uh, it's down lower elevation, more uh, so we got less snow down here. And we're gonna head up, up that way, from Durkee up there, towards those hills, somewhere. Not 100% not sure we're gonna head up to those hills up there. So there's gonna be three machines. I got Ron with me today, and we have Jason coming. He's on his way. And uh, so once he gets here, we're gonna get going. And so for you guys, let's just get this started. Yeah, he's running pretty low air pressure. Yeah, he's got, got him set for snow. Yeah. So Carl knows this area really well. Carl does? Yeah. He hunts up in here. Yeah. This snow is, yeah, for what little snow there is, man, it is slippery and... It is. Man, and yeah. One time I, I was looking back in the rearview mirror, to, you know, see where you were, and I was like, oh shit, just kind of got real close to the edge. I was like, oh, that's not good. Mm -hmm. The, the ride we went in in the deep snow, we were yeah. in low gear and he was digging. I was right behind him, could never smell his belt. Mm. Uh -uh. You can change the gears in them. Yep. Is it easy to swap them in and out? Yep. Yeah, it's it's just a... It's just a gear. Yeah. Yeah. And it, and you've got your main gear, your two idlers, and your output. Mm -hmm. and so this, this whole yeah. system in here lowers the gear ratio? Yeah, so you've got a four inch um, portal axle, dual idler, that does a 30% gear reduction. 30%? Then we did the four day arms running a 37 inch tire. Yeah, you got a lot of clearance. Looks a lot more stout too. Like, 
the ride we went on in the deep snow. We were yeah. in low gear and he was digging. I was right behind him, could never smell his belt. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, before it was geared where we could do a hundred. And, you know, that was excessive. And so I was talking to the rep and he's like, yeah, we can just send you the gears for the 15%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when somebody comes in and, you know, they want to buy a set, it gives me more knowledge mm -hmm. of what size tire do you want to run? What top right. speed do you want to run? Right. Quite a climb still got a little bit more to go i did not think we were going to make it up this of course we're not at the top yet but i think the worst is over but uh man this is just bad snow it's really slick and wet it's not this it's so super deep it's just really slick let's go give her another whirl here so try to keep going This is that situation that Jay taught me, less is more. The more I've let out the throttle, the better traction I have. Yeah. Just real, just barely. Yeah. And then it would, if I gave it too much throttle, it would just start digging. Yeah, that's what I was doing, going right to the bottom. Huh? Yeah, I was at the bottom. If I couldn't slow and get up on anything, I just was digging. For me, I was just digging. I was throwing shit everywhere. That cut quite a trench for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, that's what, with being in the trench, 
You know, I got yeah. where it's, you know, uh, saw on the, the steering wheel back and forth. It, it, what you're in that groove, saw on it back and forth, and then I just start digging, kind of uh, dug me back up a little bit higher. Yeah. Are we able to make a loop? Let me look at my map. Jason in the in the four seater up here. He's got 37 inch tires on that thing, and got the pinions in uh, 30 30 percent gear reduction. And he does. It's got a lot of clearance. It digs through the snow pretty good. find a way out because coming back might be difficult.
Okay, well, I got stuck. I'm actually high centered. <clears throat> I was doing just fine digging up through. And then we got a big rut here. And I was trying to go to the, the right of it and I just dug in and you can see I'm freaking down to the frame and I got this tire spinning because I'm high centered. So I'm gonna have to get your, yanked off this little high centered here. I'm stuck. He's gonna turn around and bubba rope you up. You need more slack? Um. And you were coming with me. Well, I was coming with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you were out, and I just, I'm going. Well, I didn't uh, see how, how the film looks, but I got tugged out of that, off that high center from this freaking monster truck that Jason's got with 37 inch tires on it. That thing just crawls through the snow. It's got a lot more clearance than I did. I could have made it up through that, I just, I got high centered, so I lost all my traction. I'm the last, I'm the third machine through, too, so the trail's packed down and ruts are deeper and, but you know it's, it, it happens that's why we got winches and tow ropes Mining? Yeah. Yeah, Mormon weapon. 
This is cool. You know, it's fairly old. Look at the ridge cap on that, how it's cut. You see that? I couldn't tell you what time series I found. Right. I don't know. When, when they, but that's not, we don't did, have that now. No, when, when did they start doing metal roofs? I don't know. But yeah, look at the ridge cap, how it's got that. So probably, you know, back in the Pretty cool, old, pretty cool old cabin. It's uh, definitely got some, some issues here. Wow, there's actually a really cool wood floor in here. This would have been a shack we stayed in. The mining camp up here. And uh, we don't know, we're thinking like 30s, 40s, we're not sure. No, I missed it. That's where a mill building was. Ah, okay, a mill building was there. Okay. Cool. Passing all kinds of cool stuff up here. I missed that one though. I guess there was an old mill building back there. I foundation of it that I missed. So check this out, man. This pile of rocks, it's huge. Mud off the windshield. 
I got any mud on this? <laughs> Ned, if you've never been in there, it's kind of neat to go in and look at the date on some of those heads. Oh, some old, the old cemetery here? Yeah. It's a little muddy. So we got a little mud on the machines. That was kind of you. I didn't want to see you just hauling ass going by. <laughs> and then I got snow caked in the wheels. Mud covering the side by side, the snow caked in the wheels. How come you don't have big clots stuck on you like I do? Oh, then puddles. You probably hit the puddles faster. No, no. I think just the tires sticked up so far at all. Flipped out the side. Uh-huh. What's crazy is look how clean the wheels are. Yeah. Comparatively. I know. Look at that. Mine are still packed full of snow. Yours didn't pack with snow. Those good looking. Those are good looking wheels too. I like those. You like those? I like that silver and the black and the red. That looks cool. Yeah, those front tires are like the, the wheels are spotless. Yeah. Okay, we got Malheur City Cemetery, founded in 1870. Gonna be some old graves in here. And some new ones. There's a pretty new grave right over there. Malheur City. There is no city around here. Like what where's this city? Oh, it does say city. Yeah. So was there a city out here at one time in eighteen seventy when that cemetery was I'm not sure. Yeah. Bet there was. Great ride so far. We're just having a blast. Old cemetery. Muddy machines. Jason. Born in 1861, died in 1906. R.J. Morfitt. Got a whole family of Morfitts up here. Walter Scott, born in 1870, died in 1896, 26 years old. Interesting old cemetery out here in the middle of nowhere. So, uh, it said uh, Malheur City, so I'm assuming there was a city out here in 1870 somewhere. Uh, but, you know, like where? It had to be down, down somewhere in that flat area down in there. Because there is no cities close by here that I'm aware of. So, I don't know. Old cemetery, though. Let's come out here at night. It's spooky.
trying to give the side-by-sides a bath, uh, wash the wheels off a little bit on it. We did this uh, ride, oh, a couple years ago. It cr we crossed this creek and it was ice, it was solid ice. And I was like the fifth or sixth guy in line. By the time I got to it, the ice was all broke up. And oh man, I was hopping on pieces of ice and off. And Don't you splash me! Because he would. He'd splash me. You got some of the mud off your window? <laughs> <laughs> hey, all we could see was uh, a wall of water there for a minute. Let's check that window. Yeah, you need one more wash. <laughs> it's all steamed up in here. Yeah. yeah. It's all steam. Yeah. Steam's coming through the dash. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take mine to the car wash. <laughs> <laughs>